What led you to wanting a water feature? Because of the fact that uh, the display was so well done. Yeah. And uh, that kind of sold me. So hopefully the display will be replicated oh, 100%. here. I built them, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the area where the pond's gonna go. They're doing some renovations on this barn up here right now. And we have these two pine trees and we're just kind of putting the pond and the waterfalls into this bank here, which it'll be kind of viewing from two areas, this driveway coming up here, as well as the front porch over there. You can see where I have the pond painted out. Then we're gonna build a stream up and through here. We're gonna be running electrical or having to dig a conduit in for electrical over there, which they're taking care of. We got probably about three days of work, maybe four, we'll see. All I know is it's time to get busy. How do you uh, enjoy the pond these days? We, we really like it. We love it. It's, During the day, every evening, we come it's out. It's lovely. And when there's company, they don't go anywhere but here. Yeah. It's it great. was amazing to How watch fast it was. what you started with and what you ended up with. What would you say to anyone on the fence about getting one of these? My thoughts would be, you're worth it. Go ahead and do it. Enjoy it while well, you can smell the roses. Yeah, and, do it now. Do it now, don't wait. Okay, so we are all staged, ready to start digging here. Mati's is setting up the laser, and uh, right here is the pond. So the line that you see right here is the future patio. It's like a 15 by 20 patio here from the back of the house. And right here goes our seven by 10 Simplicity Series Koi Pond. The waterfall is gonna be over there on that end. You know, the waterfalls will be facing this back patio area and there are big windows there. So they get viewing from both inside and outside. What are you hoping to achieve with it? Like, what do you want to see down there? Attractive, of course. I, I'd like to see that whole area, the landscape. I did want originally some fish in the pond. We'll definitely give it our best shot at making it attractive yeah. for you. What do you think, Ben? It's gonna be pretty epic. So, this is extremely unique. We have, this is all natural stream flow. Like, you can see it there. That's all, that's a boatload of flow. So we are gonna, try to build a pond around all this natural flow and then use this natural flow when we're all done to have like a cool waterfall down over this side. Wow, that is a lot of flow.
We're up here in Belfont, PA, and we have a pond here that I believe the homeowners installed themselves. This is typically what we see uh, enthusiasts getting started with, with the uh, water gardening hobby. But typical issues, you can see the water is pea soup green. Uh, it leaks water, they can't run it, doesn't operate. And I could get into all the technicalities of why that is, but basically what's important is the ecosystem. We install the Aquascape ecosystem. They're beautiful, they work. Clean, clear water, fish love it, plants love it. Uh, we also have an issue with chipmunks here. Here's, we saw like a dozen just pulling in. So we're gonna be actually rodent proofing this whole pond. We're gonna be installing like a concrete cloth beneath the liner so that they can't uh, burrow through underneath and chew through the liner. And we're gonna be installing a wire mesh on top of the liner so they cannot burrow through the liner on that side. So it's gonna add a little bit of uh, complexity to the install, but nothing we can handle. So, and they have it running on up through here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all of this. We're gonna put in our premier collection dragonfly pond, which is an eight by 11 pond with the weathered limestone boulders and we're gonna build an 18 foot long stream up this bank. We've got a nice steep bank here so it's gonna get be an awesome opportunity to build some beautiful cascades into it. So I take this seating boulder and move it back so we have room to expand the pond because this pond is actually smaller than what we're putting in right now and we'll replace it again after we're done in a nice area where you can sit and view the waterfalls. So it's gonna be a pretty big transformation. The dragonfly uh, pond which is from a premier collection is it's a really nice pond it has all the bells and whistles those beautiful boulders from the Ozarks, Missouri. Uh, truck them in all the way here. Love them because of the character and the moss they have. We're gonna be installing LED lights so they'll be able to enjoy this at nighttime. Uh, there's a couple fish in here that we're gonna, we're gonna pump this water out and save them here in this uh, tank till we uh, finish doing the construction of the new pond and we'll get put them back in when we're done with that. So it's gonna be a fun project. So what we're doing today is we are replacing this skimmer box with a new updated better design, replacing the biofalls up there. Likewise, better design. We're dismantling this entire section here, the stream, and we're redoing this. There's some problems here, which is why it's not working well. First off, I tried to seal the liner to the back of the boulder. This waterfall spillway rock, which is never gonna work long-term. Uh, the liner needs to go underneath everything and overlap into the pond. So we're gonna resolve that. Basically, this whole this whole section just comes out. We'll get pieced back together. The pond, we're just kind of redoing some of the rock work up there along the top edge and the rest stays intact. And we're also fixing that offset. That's one solid, massive piece of natural stone. It's all a six inch thick slab of stone. So we'll see if we can raise that to level that with the rest of the sidewalk there. I'm excited for this uh, before and after because we're not going to completely redo this whole pond, but we are going to show you what we can do just by tweaking a few little things. So it'll make a pretty big impact. Tony's over there bringing in a whole bunch of pallets 
And on those pallets is the materials we need for one of our new 10 by 14 Simplicity Series Pond. This is what we have to start with, right here. Homeowners were kind enough to get, out, get rid of all the old rock that was in there. We're gonna pull out the old liner, reshape the uh, shelves, and pretty much just go ahead and install a brand new pond. <laughs> 